Creation 10542 presents Invitationem, a game by Julian Bartholini. Point at the wrong place, click at the wrong time. October 1991, somewhere in France. The night is dark and the rain keeps hitting the windshield of your car. An inexplicable breakdown forces you to stop and to keep going on foot. This is when you spot, a few hundred yards ahead, the glow of a strange forgotten house in the middle of the woods. Invitation M is a short horror game. It's an old-school 2D point-and-click game created and designed independently and personally. A gameplay and a story that are pretty simple and are inspired by classic horror cinema and its stereotypes. A breakdown in the middle of nowhere, a storm and a house with supernatural atmosphere. A place that, behind its cozy aspect, reveals hints to a dark secret and to terrifying revelations. I can hardly wait. I love all these classic horror cinema stereotypes. Let's go. <laughs> Let's begin. Warning, some aspects of this game's contents may offend the sensibilities of young players or viewers. Keep that in mind. Good that we get some content slash trigger warnings, some advice. This game is best played with headphones or earbuds and in low light. This game does not feature an inventory. Objects that are picked up during the game will be automatically used by clicking on the areas where they are required. Okay. Let's begin. Creation 105 for two presents. A game by Julian Bartholene. Invitationum. At least that's how I hope it's being pronounced. <laughs> October 1991, somewhere in France. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Our car is not doing well. Oh, I love the ASMR sounds of the rain hitting in our windshield. That's amazing. Such a such an atmospheric beginning. Damn it, please, not now. Okay, let's stay calm. The town isn't that far on foot. Where did I put my flashlight? Um, okay, so we can open our door. What can we interact with? How does this look like? Usually in cloth compartment, right? And it was there, good. Can we take these? No, I don't think so. However, I do not recognize these uh, covers. If anyone recognizes them and knows if they are actual covers of albums, let me know. I would love to hear that. Hear about that. Mm, can we go out? Even though I don't want to. I mean, our car is kind of comfy. <laughs> Oh, the rain is wonderful. Oh. A few minutes later. Hmm? Wow, we can see some light ahead. And it looks like there might be a building there. Those lights. Is that a house? They might have a phone. Okay, um, let's go forward. Is that another car or is that our car? I mean, if we just left our car, how could it be in front of us again? What's going on? Hmm? It 
seems like the engine is still on. Or is that the sound of the rain? Might be either. There is no one here. It seems recent. Okay. So it, this clearly wasn't our car, so someone else had their car broke down as well, I guess. Let's try to pay attention to the... Is that called license plate in English? I'm not sure. Or register plate might be another word for that. Let's go forward. When I hear these sounds, which remind me kind of like a shallow breathing, it makes me feel nervous. <laughs> Let's continue our journey forward. Wow, look at those gates. That. What? What was that? Dear God, what is. Who's screaming like that? I don't know. Let's go in. <laughs> wow, these gates. Keeping something in or keeping someone out? Well, they are open, so. I guess at the moment they have a reason to be open like this. Let's go. At least there are at least it looks like the lights are on. Hmm. Let's go um away from this rain at least. Fuck. I don't know what what that was, but well, it sounds like there is a party inside. I mean, I can hear many voices, so that's good. It means there are people in here. Well, what do we see? We see these big double doors. Then we have a frame, which has um, this... It looks like... What is the word for this? Keyhole. Yes. This is weird. Well, I hope someone can help me. Can I take it? No. Can I open the door? I need help. I'm not leaving until I have at least talked to the owners of the house. Okay. It doesn't seem to be much of use. Can I somehow move here? I can go back out, I guess. Oh, I'm in a hallway. Well, this kind of looks... Ominous and oh, I'm sorry, I misclicked. This looks ominous and cozy at the same time. I mean, it uh, kind of brings relief to hear that there are many people here. That's good, but I don't know why these figures here look like cultists. <laughs> and, and what are these symbols? I have a feeling that they might be meaningful. We got this. I don't know, side profile, cameo profile inside one of these. Then we have a plate and, well, at least it looks like a plate or bowl or something and a sword. Wait, the things around them are different as well. There is a circle, square and triangle. Okay. And then we have these part skulls, part antlers underneath them. So this kind of left, middle and right. Okay. Can we... Oh, we can look at more photos. Hmm. I'd better announce myself first. Okay. I can hear some noise in the open room on the right. Open room on the right. What? What? Is this what is making all this noise? Is this a joke? What the actual heck? Do I have a pause button here? Can I press any other? What was that? That sound, it came from the lobby, right? 
<laughs> I pro it probably did, yeah. Okay, I cannot record anything else or listen any other recordings. I should leave it alone. Let's do that. I'm afraid to turn around. <laughs> okay, we can look out from the windows. I can see something massive prowling around the house. What? It's too dark outside to make out what it is. Okay. What? The... The door. Where's the front door? Oh no. It was right here, I swear. Okay, something's not right with this place. There might be another exit somewhere in the house. Let's break the nearest window, except that there is something outside prowling the grounds or something. <sighs> Let's take the key. Apparently, we have a key now. I cannot use it to try to break through, so I guess that's it. Let's turn around and try to open these doors if this would now open with the key we just found. Doesn't even budge. Okay. How about this one? It's locked. I don't have the key to this door. Okay. So I guess our only option is to go up. <gasps> what? Upstairs. What is that? What? What is that? I don't want to. No. No thanks. It doesn't even budge. I can't do anything. I guess we gotta go there. <gasps> what? What the fudge? Was that? That didn't look like a human. <sighs> In the midst of all these horrors, I gotta say I really appreciate the textures and the local lighting and the wooden doors and the paintings and everything. This place looks beautiful absolutely amazing but that creature i don't want to share this place with that creature what the heck pictures of the local area nothing weird okay can we look at all of them just checking out that they are all pro portraying the same thing if we go back can we now take a look at these paintings this looks weird, almost like, I don't know, some kind of corridor underground or something. wonder what these red things are and why our vision gets blurred. Let's try this door. Okay, bathroom. Nothing bad can happen in the bathroom, right? Completely try. That's great. There are moist half-tone clothes in the bathtub. They seem to belong to a man and a woman. There's a key stuck in the drain. I can't reach it. I'm going to need a tool to get it out. Okay. I probably look awful. Anything else in here we can take a look at? This is the key again. Let's go back. How about this door? I used the key that I found in the lobby table. It's open now. Let's go. Wow, what a room. It looks beautiful. Though I gotta admit when I step in here my first thought is that something's gonna come out of this wardrobe or whatever this is called in English. <sighs> Let's look outside from the windows. The shadow that's prowling in front of the house. I can't stop thinking about that scream in the forest. Yeah, that didn't sound good. Who's this? Such a tragic look. This is a private diary. 
Some pages have been torn out. Can we interact with the light or the drawer or... Well, this looks beautiful. It's locked. I don't have the key to this chest box. Strange, it seems attached to the floor. Okay. What is this? Some sort of jewelry box. When I shake it, I can hear something inside. Now this looks like the plate we saw in the hallway. So let's try to figure this out. It was inside... Uh, is this called square? Yeah, this was probably the word for it. Um, and then we had the cameo, which was inside a circle and sword inside a triangle. Ooh, yes, another key. We solved a puzzle. I'm so proud. Can we now open this chest? It's locked. I don't have the key to the to this chest box. Okay, so this wasn't the right key, but I think we found some kind of key. These this wardrobe is empty, okay? I really don't want to try this door. What was that? Okay, Better not disturb the forces that haunt this place. Okay, good. We don't have to go in there. That's good. Can we go somewhere like... Can we open this door? No. Let's go back. Can we now open one of these doors? Yes, I used the key that I found in the jewelry box. It's open now. Right, let's go. Mm. Ominous music. That's not good. Or ominous soundscape. I love their uh, wall tapestries though. These are really beautiful. This seems to be an incense burner. The smell is weird. It's making me dizzy. Okay. Another one of these things, just like in the lobby. Hmm. Anything else? The light bulb must have burned out. I guess we're gonna go to the ominous <laughs> cellar. Let's go. Let's do this. What? Who's this? He's giving me chills. Yeah, me too. This looks like some kind of, I don't know, weapon rack, like for holding a rifle or a sword or something, but it's empty now. Some sort of display stand for a sword. The weapon is missing. So someone in here has a sword somewhere. Okay, what a comforting thought. What is this? Someone left prints on three of the alphabetical keys. Three keys, it means there's only six possible combinations. By a process of elimination, I should be able to find the right one. Okay, let's do it. I did it. What are these? Dearest member of the host society, this invitation is to be handed over once you arrive at the temple. Be punctual. 152436. Okay, so some kind of host society. And they are calling this place the temple, at least at the moment I'm thinking so. And what is this creature with... it looks like it has wings or something. Almost like it's flying. 
Okay. Are all of these the same? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. So they're calling this the temple, so is this person the leader of the temple or something? What are these? Uh, what? This almost looks like some sort of parasite or something. And I know, this looks like it's part of someone's arm. This looks like palm and these are the longer fingers and what the heck I'm showing you to yeah <laughs> there are some pliers in this jar along with this thing I wonder how these pliers got here but hey I'm sure we're gonna need this <laughs> the lid is sealed there's only one way to get to the tool nice Let's stick it. <gasps> oh. Fuck, you piece of shit. Oh, it seems stuck. It's not going to let go. What can we do? Some jars, some racks, and what seems to be formaldehyde. Okay. Can we take the formaldehyde? Apparently not. What is this? The fuse box seems intact, yet the basement is still dark. Hmm. I'm not sure what we can do. Someone removed the photos from the frames, but why? Why do I hear this whispering? I don't like it. Did we take everything we could from here? I guess so. I don't understand how the door just... Me neither, buddy. Me neither. I'm wondering if we missed something, if we were supposed to take something from the... from downstairs. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. I'm just gonna try all the doors. Well, that happened. I was trying to seek more clues and then the door just opened. Oh, what is this? A bathroom, okay. What is this? Tiger Decap Pro 2000. Some chemical stripper. The label indicates high acidity. Could we use this somehow? Downstairs? This might be something... Uh, there might be something under there. This house is making me paranoid. Well, friend, I totally get that. No wonder. Let's try this, if this could do something for the hand. That is not letting go of the pliers. I might be able to use the chemical stripper. Let's pray it works. Okay, so our uh, assumption was right. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, so now we have flyers. What can we use them for? I guess we have taken everything we can. Yeah, there's not much we can do in here. What? 
What kind of bullshit is this? The door is closed. Really? There's nothing I can do about that? The key doesn't fit anymore. Fuck, it's stuck. Okay. <laughs> so we're in here. Let's see if we got other way. <gasps> no! Fuck! What am I supposed to do? Can I use this as a weapon? I don't want to go back! <laughs> Let me go out. Come on, move! I'm trapped! <laughs> Shit! I'm so upset at the moment. I'm so deeply scared. I don't dare to even pick up my mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because of you who are watching this video, I will continue. Shit! <laughs> Where is it? What happened? It must be something induced by the smoke. Come on. <sighs> I don't want to go downstairs. I don't want to do that anymore. I just... I don't... No, 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 no. No, can we use this door? I'm so scared. So scared to do anything. <sighs> Can I now take the thing from here? Can I now pick up the key? These pliers should do the trick. Oh, thank goodness. So could this be the key to the chest? That's one less problem. Let's try for the chest. Um... This is not how this room used to be. This is not how it used to look like. What the heck is going on? Well, the... Uh, painting is still the same, but what? Where did the room go? I don't know, and I'm scared. I know this painting. What happened to the room? I might be going mad. Okay, so the wallpaper is peeling. Oh, beautiful. Exterior is crumbling down and the hallway looks like it's um, distorted. Distorted, I mean, it's kind of diagon diagonal, it's not straight anymore, it leans to the left. I guess this is it, let's go. Oh, and it gets worse and worse. Do you think this is our mental health getting worse and worse, or is this like the incense getting on in our heads, or another wall paint is wallpaper is nearly completely off, and we can see these nasty flies circling the lights around us, and it feels like the hallway is getting narrower and narrower, and it almost looks like there is some water damage on the floor. Yeah, oh, I don't, I don't like this, not at all. And it's the same painting. Still the same painting. This place is getting creepier by the minute. Am I even still in the house? Hmm. So if this is a symbol of what you are going through... I think I'm okay with it. Thank you for showing me what you are going through. Uh, 
Let's try to find some kind of solution for all of this. I don't know if I'm in my head or in his head or... It barely resembles even a corridor anymore and we can just hear the flies buzzing. Okay. Now the painting is barely recognizable. Got this one door over here and... This is pulsating almost like a heart. Oh man, I'm I'm going to be sick. It seems alive. This seems to be from a private diary. It begins in the middle of a sentence. And I remember it quite well. Winter had already covered the whole area with its great snowy cloak. The wind was blowing through the top of the great pine trees. I was pacing up and down, bathed in the soft light of the fireplace. The warm color was contrasting with the sapphire tones of the drapes. The choice I made that night opened to me all the doors that had remained closed until then. That's all. So you made a choice. I wonder what kind of choice you made. You look like you're suffering when I look at that painting. It's Your facial expression is very pained. You look like you're holding some sort of grief within you. It might have something to do with this colored door. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the colored door. We got blue, green, red and white. Okay. A strange contraption is locking the door. The answer must be close by. Okay, so... Ah, they were talking about the colors. Let's see if they mention the colors in this. If we need to put them in some sort of specific order or something. Winter had already covered the whole area with its great snowy cloak, that might be color white. The wind was blowing through the top of the great pine trees, that might be green. I was pacing up and down, bathing in the soft light of the fireplace, that might be red. The warm color was contrasting with the sapphires, sapphire tones of the traits. Okay. No, I think I know what we need to do. I did it. The door is unlocked. Oh, what the heck is going on? We are in some kind of very small room. There is a scary red light and a TV on. The television is picking up the image of a corridor. Wait, is this the one I went through? Oh. Shit. Oh no. has to be the same corridor. Those things are waiting for me outside. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do this. The heartbeat is not helping. <laughs> portrait missing its head.
the this creature roaming nearby it knows I'm here okay thing there wardrobe is empty something in this I used the key that I found in the sink strain it's open now Oh, I'm so relieved that it contained a puzzle and not someone's head, because that was the thought I had in the last second. Like, oh my goodness, this chest could contain a head. <laughs> what am I supposed to do in here? I tried to figure out what the heck is the right number code for the puzzle we have upstairs, and I tried to figure out, like, where have we seen numbers? And then I remember that we have seen numbers in the corner of these invitations. So I'm going to write that down. 152436. And I'm going to try it. Go upstairs and try it. <laughs> Maybe that is the solution for the new miracle puzzle. Maybe that is the code they want me to insert to that weird chest over there. Let's see, one, five, two, four, three, six. Oh. Another ominous looking corridor. Yay! <laughs> well, shit. Let's hope this is some sort of secret exit. Wow, this that looks like an elevator. Okay. This was the room we just came in through. Okay, let's go. Up or down? Let's go up first, you know? No, that's not happening. Let's go down then. <laughs> Maybe we are in the uppermost floor at the moment. Hey, this looks like the corridor we saw in the painting. On the second floor, I guess? It lo also looks like the way to the depths of hell or something. <laughs> yeah, these are the red candles we saw. Oh my. This is it. Let's hope we won't be sacrificing here. Let's hope this is all in our head. Um, what is this? It looks like some sort of altar. Damn it, the light? So soon? Good evening. You are right on time. Who's there? Who's talking? Apparently these people. What? Where do you... Please remain calm. We understand that it must have been a stressful evening for you. Do not be afraid. It will all soon be over. You're... you're the ones responsible for all those twisted things. We merely are the voices that called upon the headhunter. Every four years we gather to present three offerings to the great hunter. This is required for the hunter to grant our families safety and prosperity 
Listen, I, I don't have anything to do with any of this. And yet here you stand, answering the invitation of our benefactor. For it is known that the offerings will present themselves to us, guided on the path by the dark children of the hunter. You must have met them. The creature had to be quite creative to slow you down enough. Indeed, the first two required some preparation time. What do you mean, the first two? The clothes we found from the bathroom, right? My dearest members of the host's society, the time has come. Free the altar. <gasps> oh, damn. Were these the previous victims? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. And that's for me. Was that it? Oh, the lights are going off. <laughs> I'm having goosebumps all over my body at the moment. <laughs> the end. Oh. That was such a fun and atmospheric experience. I'm really happy I played this game. This was my investigation chart investigation time. I will of course edit this video shorter for you. I will edit out the parts where I'm just running around trying to find clues. Our investigation level was 32 of 35. In the game you will find random elements. Investigate them all in the same game and a secret will be revealed. Interesting. If you want to support the development of this game, check out the links I've added in the description text next to this video. And thanks for sharing this adventure with me.